Well, hello everyone, Dylan here with a, another Lego Star Wars 20, from the Summer 2020 review. And today's event is on the Resistance ITS Transport that is, as of now, being released as a Target exclusive. And so, also check your Target stores. It is completely available to purchase and everything. No need to like worry about street dates, nothing. On the front of the box here is the Lego logo, Star Wars logo, and the same border that we've seen since start of 2019, and a picture of it flying above the planet, and a couple TIE fighters behind, and all the main things included, Disney logo, and this special logo. Transport from Star Wars Galaxy's Edge Training Outpost. So, for Training Outpost, sorry. So, it is not exclusive to Galaxy's Edge, because this act, but this is based off of Galaxy's Edge, sorry, but it's not being exclusive to there. It has a widespread release, of which, cool. So, and this does open the door for some more uh, Galaxy's Edge ideas, which I'll get to later, but. And Angel's 9 and up, set number 75293, has 932 pieces. On the back of the seat, you get a picture of it in a resting position, although what I think they should have added in, along with the snippets is probably a realistic picture of it in the parks to get a good idea of it. And also, play it in the Skywalker Saga game, of course, and yeah. And onto the manual, oh, which same pictures on the front of the box and everything. On the back, I went on the online survey. The pieces that come with the set, and add of all these uh, summer 2020 sets, and also add of all the mini figs included in each one. And then add for the Skywalker Saka game and coding, uh, covering the code, so you can't take it from me or whatever. And the last building steps, of course. So, first of all, for the minifigures, we have the exclusive Vi Marathi. We have Vi Marathi, or V Marathi, however you say that. The, the jacket, which is kind of similar to that of most uh, resistance men, or, be, or troopers and all. Although, a complete lack of like print, which if you look at from the from a distance, it doesn't look like she's wearing any pants at all. But although besides that, the face print kind of good, which kind of diversifying in genders and races, of course, and also with this quite neat uh, hair piece, which is kind of an older hair piece but duly molded in black and blue, which good for custom figs and things. And also get slight back torso print, and also a bit of a double side face, of course. And small blaster there, and yeah. And next to which is Lieutenant Beck with the same old uh, calamari headpiece. He's kind of used from like both uh, Armal Akbar and. Uh, also in Rogue One and such. But besides that, also, not at all any lit printing, which is kind of an odd thing with Star Wars fakes nowadays, this year and beyond. Probably to save a little bit of cash, not sure, but besides that, the great front torso print and, all, and also same small blaster, and also some good back torso print, of course. And next to which is some astromech droid that I can't put my finger on, but besides that, the headpiece, which we did see quite a lot of times before, but not sure if this print is new, but I'm sure it kind of is, but I'm sure both the prints are new, but and but they do look good. And 
also the back head printer, which also done good. And lastly is a newer style gaunt droid. So it's kind of similar. It's the same similar color to that of the largely built one in the Star Wars droid boost set, of course. Also, and good use of those pieces used for the feet, obviously. And most of it just a one by or two by two brick, of course. And also all right build for the gaunt droid. Oops, like kind of came off. And so now on to the ITS transport itself. This is which a uh, pretty cool or kind of cool design. Although designed kind of similar to that of the Tantive 4 slash Rebel Blockade Runner with the front view part of it and most of the shaping of it kind of seems like a small downgrade of that. Although this does make it feel almost original, but I was looking to the front of the ship. We have good use of As you can see, you have some of those clear plates acting as a windshield, and also you have some smaller corner edge pieces with the like the stud shooters that can turn all around. Although I think it also could have worked with uh, spring loaded launchers, but probably didn't want to get excited all so much. And as further down, in which a uh, whole ton of the corner pieces, but cornered all in together, which and a jagged slope above, which make it fully enclosed and quite complete and all, which good. And also, as for the top part, which which has a couple of stickers above, and the top of it has some of those uh, like curved plates, of course, and some smooth slope or curved slopes, of course. But you can lift this part up and have enough space to fit a figure in it. And also, not sure if you can see well there, but there is a whole monitor kind of built in it, of which is sticker. But there's very few stickers in this set. But into the middle part of it, which if you were to go to see this at Galaxy's Edge, then you would notice how it's parted down and this part is kind of comes right up and this is the boarding ramp that guests can walk onto and same as on both sides but also have uh, some of these tiles that have that are stick but they're stickers of course and close right up oh wait make sure this closes first then that does and then for the back part which with two uh, long jacket slopes and more plates of course but also get a ton of these we get some of these kind of pieces and a lot of these larger wheel pieces and also a good and as for the, the like smallish uh, axle gear kind of piece this kind of piece like we've seen on the uh, Lego Bionicle uh, creature sets in 2016, of which great use of these pieces. And if you look from the back, of which see all the engines, also similar to that of the Tantive 4, but but all of which quite small and more spread out rather than just like and like large and enclosed. And also a few more stud shooters. Give well giving it. Thing to the special reel that goes on in the ride of it. And, and also do get the black dome piece, which I don't think we see very often, but probably represent as the back viewing part of it, of course. And whereas the roof part is detachable and it's connected by 
these two jumpers. There's and get a little crate that also sits on a pair of jumpers. And you can like open that up. And there's a pair of blasters in there, but not sure why they would be there. Since, you know, make a little space for the tourists. And of course. Whereas if you look at some videos and things of this ride, then you would know Lieutenant Becca, which is like put in this kind of area. And so I guess you see some of those like curve up kind of pieces, but there to just support them. So like good use of this of snot and cornering details to it. As for the both of these parts of it, it's nice and sturdy, good for swooshy, of course. And the other side of which, quite the same. So perfect symmetry, which I often like. So for my overall verdict on this set is this, I think, a pretty cool set for this summer wave. But at least, hey, first time of one for Galaxy's Edge, which I hope they do some more in the future, which, but of course, although I often do like getting some new interesting ships to add to the to my growing collection, which I'm sure a lot of you do too, and also the minifig selection of which just only two figures, although it would have been great if they added in just one or two more of it. But then that would have made this set a bit more worth it. You know, such as like a tourist one or something. But although I think this can work in a, a Disney World diorama mock. So just like with Disney Castle and Disney Train, of course. And if you're looking to get this set to add to your Star Wars collection, then definitely pick this up. And if you've been to Galaxy's Edge and want to get this as a souvenir, definitely pick this up. And also, if you are considering going to Galaxy's Edge, definitely pick this up and let it be a little thing to have aside and to get you thinking about it. And yeah. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.